Bomber Ham, written by Alice Slipfin, illustrated by Mike Spohr. Bomber Ham. The crows were happy, and they were happy because, as usual, they were in Farmer Ham's cornfield eating corn. All day long, they would sit in the cornfield, singing, dancing, and stuffing themselves with Farmer Ham's corn. Day after day, Farmer Ham would run out of his farmhouse, waving his arm and shouting as loud as he could, to try and get rid of the crows. But the crows would just fly up into the air, shouting, "Silly old Farmer Ham!" Eventually, Farmer Ham would. Get tired and go back into the, his farmhouse, so the crows would ha- land back in the cornfield and start to sing, dance, and eat corn again. Then one day, Farmer Ham went came out of his farmhouse, but didn't run and shout at all. He walked up the path from the farmhouse, past the gate. And the cornfield, past his old tractor, and straight past the crows, until he came to the pond at the edge of the cornfield. That's funny," said one crow. "That's not funny," said other. "This is funny," and he pulled a face. All the crows started laughing and shouting, "Silly old farm ham!" At the pond, Farmer Ham sat down, took out a fishing rod, and began to fish. There are no fish in that pond," said one of the crows. "He's not wearing a coat," said another. "Maybe he's want to catch a cold instead of a fish." All the crows snorted with laughter, shouting, "Silly old Farmer Ham!" Farmer Ham carried on fishing, and soon he pulled out a dirty old boat. From the pond, hey, Farmer Ham said, "One crow, yours can't make a fish pie from an old boot." He could always eat the sole," said another, and all the crows laughed as Farmer Ham walked away carrying the dirty old boot. All the crows singing, singing, shouted, "Silly old Farmer Ham!" The next day, Farmer Ham went back to the pond and began to fish again. All the crows watched him until this time he pulled out a bent and twisted top hat. He's mad as a hatter," said one crow. "He must be soft in the head," said another. All the crow would laugh, and Farmer Ham walked away from the bent and twisted top hat. So. Nothing. Shouting after him, silly old Farm Ham. On the other, on the third day, Farmer Ham went to the pond again. He started to fish. This time, he pulled out a long, slime-covered scarf. Maybe he thinks it's an eel, said one crow. You'll soon regret it if. He's done," said another. All the crows laughed, shouting, "Silly old Farmer Ham!" As he made his way back to the farmhouse, carrying the long, slimy scarf. On the fourth day, Farmer Ham went fishing in the pond again, and this time he pulled out a. Teddy jacket and a ripped pair of trousers. You'd think he'd have given them by now," said one crow. "Yeah, he's just not suited to it at all," said another. All the crows laughed. In fact, they were laughing so hard they were rolling on the floor with tears in their eyes, and it looked all their. Efforts to keep on shouting, silly old farm ham.
<coughs> well, the crows lay on the floor, unable to do anything but laugh. Farmer Hen collected together all the things he had fished out from the pond. What went into his barn and closed the door? <coughs> When the crows stopped laughing, they looked around, quite puzzled. "Hey, where's your farmer ham gone?" they said. "He's not by the pond," said one. "He's not by the field," said another. "Maybe he's not," said a third. "But something is. Look." The frightened crows disappeared into the distance, screaming and shouting. They, that, they were never going near that cornfield again. And Farmer Ham looked at the terrifying figures standing in his cornfield and smiled. Clever old Farmer Ham. The end of the book. Farmer Ham, written by Alice Lit Sledfant, illustrated by Mike Spore.